James Holder, IFL TV, in association with Matt Clinch, Jim Marbella. With me, I've got Africa's number one matchmaker, Mr. Azuma Kofi. How are you, Kofi? Yeah, nice, fine, thank you, son. Good, good, that's what I like to hear. How's things in the world of Kofi? What have you been up to? Well, no, no, not, not too bad, you know, just uh, bits and pieces, you know, uh, same old managing boxing and, you know, just trying to make things tick, you know? Yeah, what's yeah. going on in the world of African boxing that we're not well, aware African of? Well, African boxing, uh, as ever, you know, it's coming along nicely. We've got some good fighters up and down, as you know, Richard Cormier is going to be boxing for the world title against uh, Robert Easter yes, Jr. Yes. Uh, that's a fantastic one. I saw Mickey Moo announce that. Fantastic. Brilliant, move. brilliant, brilliant job by uh, Mickey Moo and all, all the team and, and big ups to them. And I, I hope Richard pulls it off. And uh, yeah, besides that, you know, we've got Joshua Clote. He's, um, he's taking over back. You know, we've got Wilberford Schlepp in Namibia. Um, yeah, they, all the boys are doing quite good, actually. One fight like I good. want to talk to you about is Alani Tete. Fantastic talent. And what, what do you make of Tete as a fighter? Tete is, a, is just... Um, I, don't, I don't think he can be described accurately. Tete is just awesome. Awesome, you know. And uh, I, I think um, Frank is doing quite a, a good job with him, you know, putting him on the promotion market and things. But, you know, as with most of these African boxers, sometimes they turn out to be uh, too good for their own good. You know, he's... Um, I mean, I'm sure you and I will agree that to, to matching Tete at this particular point in time is a bit of a promoter's nightmare. We've been but talking and hearing about talks of Guillermo, Guillermo Rigondo facing Tete, Zalani Tete, in a, what could be a massive fight at Super Bantamweight. What, what are your thoughts on that? My, my thoughts on that is that that will be brilliant for boxing. Uh, obviously, weight issues have got to be addressed. Was, um, obviously, Rigondo is a, is a Super Bantam, you know, it's a fairly you know, reasonably bigger than uh, Tete. But look, Tete, as you well know, is a big boy. He's, um, he's five foot ten, foot his height. He, he, meet, he, meet all the, he takes all the boxes to, to do the job. I think it will be a very, very good fight. I think it's one that is it's, it's just boxing fans dream, really. It'll be good entertainment. It'll be good fight. Uh, in fact, honestly, I couldn't even stand here and say who's going to win. You know, I, I think, but personally, I think Tete might have a little bit a skill that will finally, finally, you know, get Rigondo a bit more exciting, if that's uh, for the ones of words. Mm, just I want to talk a little bit about Jim Jim G and Kel Brook. Massive, massive fight. We're all excited about it. What, what are your thoughts on that fight? Look, I am one of those people, and I'm quite happy to say it on IFL TV, you got it here first. I think Brook will do this one. I just think my man has got the style to finally, finally do this. Big up to him, big up. He's got, he's taking the fight, uh, which most people want. We know the history of politics in boxing. Kel Brook is an absolutely top class operator. He's got an opportunity, which I strongly believe he's got the style to move around. He's got what he, he will do, what he has to do. And James, you heard it from me. I'm not going either way. I'm saying it's a tough fight. But I have no, no, no hesitation saying I think Brooke wins. Right. So I might have a lot of people disagree with me and I might have a lot of people thinking they're mad, but I want those people to talk to me afterwards. I think Kel Brook has something that is good enough to just pull this one off. Thank you. Kofi, thank you very much for your time today, sir. We You're look welcome, forward to sir. catching you on Eiffel TV real soon. Thank you. Thank nice you very much, sir.